What is going on guys? Today in this video I am going to show you how to use the GoPro Hero 8 as a USB webcam in Windows without using a capture card coming up after this. What is up everyone? My name is Nelson and on this channel I do technology and photography based tips, tricks and tutorials. I've got lots of awesome content coming up in the future, so if you're new here please consider subscribing. Okay everyone, well GoPro has just released beta firmware for the Hero 8 that lets us use it as a USB webcam without using a capture card. Previously this only worked for Macintosh users, but us Windows users finally are able to use it. Now, this works with the most popular platforms such as Skype, Zoom, Google Meet, and I'm going to show you guys how to use it today on OBS Studio. Now, the easiest way to update this firmware to the beta firmware is to do it within the application itself, that is the GoPro application for your smartphone, or there is a manual way to do it. I will leave a link in the description below to the manual update, which just involves you downloading a zip file, extracting it, and placing it on the root of the SD card, and simply turning the GoPro on and it will manually update itself. All right, well, let's head back to the computer. I'm gonna show you how to download and install the webcam software and how to use it with OBS. Okay, so as I mentioned before, the easiest way to upgrade the GoPro's firmware is doing it through the GoPro app. If you do not have the app or simply want to update manually, I will leave a link in the description below to this page. And under Other Ways to Update, click on Update Your Camera Manually. Now, you're going to have to remove your battery door and your battery to reveal the 14-digit serial number. Go ahead and enter it here and enter your email address and then go ahead and agree to the terms of use if you agree to them. And go ahead and click on Next Step. Now you're going to be presented with this How to Update manually. And go ahead and click on Download Update. Now this is about a 70 megabyte file. All right, if it automatically pops up, go ahead and go back one folder. And you're going to be presented with this zip file here. Now go ahead and right click on him and go ahead and click Extract All and hit extract and I'm gonna go back one now we've got this update folder so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this whole update folder on the root of the micro SD card so go ahead and plug the micro SD card into the computer and then go ahead and right click on this and hit send to now my removable disk is drive K it's gonna be different on your computer but go ahead and hit send to whatever your SD card is called All right, now that the file is on the root of the SD card, go ahead and remove it from the PC. Go ahead and stick it into the GoPro and power it on, and the GoPro should automatically apply the update. Now I'm gonna show you how to download and install the software itself. So we're going to navigate to this community.gopro.com webpage, and if we scroll down about two-thirds of the way down, you'll see getting started with GoPro webcam for Windows Beta. Now you'll notice under step two, they want you to join a Facebook group called GoPro Webcam Beta to be able to download the file. At the time of this recording, I did not have to join a group or sign into my Facebook. So if you click the link, you'll be presented with this web page here and right here where it says download Windows app, click on see more and it's right here. So go ahead and click on this and you're gonna be presented with this app center. Now today, at the time of this recording, we're downloading version 1.0.0.202 beta 2. Go ahead and click download. It's about a five and a half megabyte file. And once that's downloaded, go ahead and navigate to your downloads folder or wherever you have it saved. And we're going to double click the MSI file. And now we have the welcome to the GoPro webcam setup wizard. Go ahead and click next and read through the end user license agreement and agree to the license agreement if you so choose and click next. Now we're ready to install the GoPro software. Hit install. All right, user account control has popped up. Do you allow this to make changes to your device? Go ahead and click yes if you agree. Okay, now we're gonna please attach your device to the computer. Anytime after the installation has finished, click okay. And we're gonna click finish. 
Now go ahead and plug the USB cable into the computer and then plug it into the GoPro. Once you've done that, go ahead and power on the GoPro. Okay, and go ahead and minimize all of this stuff. Windows says recognize the device. And you'll notice now there is a nifty little GoPro webcam icon down here. Go ahead and right click on that and click on show preview to make sure that it's working properly. All right, there we go, it's working. Okay, so go ahead and click out of this and I'm gonna show you how to use this with OBS Studio. All right, so using OBS Studio, come over here to sources and click on the plus sign. And we're gonna select video capture device. And let's go ahead and name it GoPro or whatever you so choose and click OK. OK, under devices, drop this box down here and you'll see GoPro webcam on the bottom. Go ahead and select that. And then go ahead and click OK. And now you'll notice that we have a GoPro window right there. So whatever software you decide to use, be it Skype or Zoom or Google Meet. The process should be relatively similar. Just go ahead and make sure that the camera is plugged in and turned on and go to your sources and make sure to add GoPro to the sources and you should be good to go. All right, guys. Well, you're now using your GoPro Hero 8 as a USB webcam. If you found this content at all useful, please do not hesitate to give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Take care.